of, of Tim Cook continuing to push on this in the face of, of opposition from other companies? Yeah, Cook has really made privacy his perhaps number one priority as CEO, at least in terms of what he talks about all the time. You can't go to an Apple product launch, what they call a keynote, without them harping on the privacy of whatever product they had just introduced. They've always had slides at the end of each product introduction to talk about how their products are responsible in terms of the environment. Now they have the same thing going in terms of privacy, and it feels like he either has a new privacy-related speech or a new privacy-related piece of software or hardware at, at every launch. Now, Mark Zuckerberg has hit back before. Uh, take a listen to what he said via video uh, at this conference in Brussels. We've reduced the ways that advertisers can target ads. And we're building a new tool so people can clear their history of all the browsing activity off Facebook. We're investing heavily in both privacy and security. We now have more than 20,000 people working to keep people safe and protect their information. And we recently created a new privacy and data use team with the sole focus of giving people more control over their data. Facebook and Zuckerberg have made the point that they couldn't deliver Facebook for free um, if they didn't uh, charge advertisers. Uh, Google also uh, hitting back the statement from Kent Walker saying that Google can deliver search to people of all income levels everywhere in the world for free. And as we know, Mark, Apple products are fairly expensive. Um, is it a little hypocritical uh, for Tim Cook to be taking this line or does he have a point? It's not exactly hypocritical. It's more of a marketing element, right? What they're saying is we're not going to release free products. We're going to release really expensive products that integrate all these privacy features. So it's something they've really been harping on, and they've really made it core to the company in recent years, more so than uh, in any time in the company's history before. Um, Tim Berners-Lee uh, weighed in on this. This is the, 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 the so-called uh, creator of the internet. He talks about how actually users do have the power right now to be part of this conversation. And my question mark is, do users actually care? Do, how much do users really care about their privacy given how willing they have been to hand over their data to Google and Facebook over the last several years? I think there's a large contingent of users who, who really do care about their privacy. They want to know that their text messages, their emails, their calendar appointments, all that stuff you store on your phone is encrypted. But I think the bigger question being raised here does the functionality of these products take a hit because they are developed with privacy in mind? And if you look at this sort of war between Siri, Apple's voice assistant, and Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant, Siri is widely considered to be subpar compared to the competition. And one of the driving forces behind that is that a lot of the techniques that Apple uses are on-device processing, which is not as powerful and sometimes not as accurate in terms of voice recognition as storing everything in the cloud. So there really has to be a point where Apple is able to get its device to be as private as they want them, but also as good in terms of functionality as the competition. Apple says they're already there, but I know a lot of people don't agree with that. And quick, we are expecting another Apple event next week. What are you watching for? Right, so October 30th in Brooklyn, they will be launching new Macs as well as the biggest update to the iPad Pro since it launched three years ago.